series of viscosity where we will see about the critical velocity and the Reynolds number. Now when the fluid flows in a tube with a small velocity then the flow will be steady or we call it as a streamlined flow. As the velocity is gradually increased the at one stage the flow becomes turbulent. So the flow will remain streamlined as long as the velocity is not greater than a value which will denote as Vc which we call as the critical velocity. So the largest velocity which allows a steady flow is called as a critical velocity Vc. So whether the flow will be steady or turbulent that depends on the density, velocity and the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid as well as the diameter of the tube through which the fluid is flowing. So that way we can write down Vc the critical velocity is proportional to the coefficient of the viscosity of the fluid of the flu uh, of the coefficient of viscosity of the fluid and uh, divided by rho into r rho is the density of the liquid and r is the radius of the tube so vc can be written as r into eta upon rho r rearranging this equation we get r that is vc rho r upon eta here r is called as a reynolds number and it plays a key role in determining the nature of the flow whether it is streamlined or turbulent it is a pure number it has no units no dimensions so if the reynolds number r it is less than 2000 then the flow is streamlined or steady if this r is greater than 3000 the flow is turbulent and if the value of r is between 2000 and 3000 then we say that the flow is unsteady or unstable so uh, in this case uh, the flow suddenly changes from steady to turbulent or turbulent to steady thank you for watching this video